heartbeat that's happening right now. And I feel that there's a rejuvenation about what we saw um, in the 30s and 40s and even up to the 50s. Vernon Avenue has always been important. I have pictures from the 40s and 50s where you didn't come down Mount Vernon Avenue without being dressed up with the jazz clubs and the nightclubs. My father has a picture of Bobby Kennedy who stood in front of our store in the 60s when he was running for president because Mount Vernon Avenue was so important. The people in the community are outstanding. Uh, you have a diverse, eclectic group of individuals from young people, business owners, uh, old time folks telling you what the community used to look like. The Mount Vernon area is rich in history and has its fair share of people events and spaces that have shaped and molded its past. This is clearly evident in the number of buildings and areas within the neighborhood that have been listed in the National Register of Historic Places. The community has progressed a lot. The Near East Side has seen a lot of change in the past 10 years. With the opening of the Lincoln Theater, commercial office building on Long Street, uh, the cleanup on Mount Vernon, the activity around the plaza, uh, the beginning of the Poindexter Village, it's seen a lot. The new developments of the community are in place to strengthen the business community by making Mount Vernon Avenue a focal point of the area. This community is really coming alive now. We've been here 12 years now. We've really seen the progress. Spring Street and the Lone Street Bridge is actually connecting this community with the downtown community. So they're kind of merging together. Uh, we're seeing a lot of new faces in this area. It's becoming uh, really diverse, uh, which is a great thing. Columbus's Near East Side has incredibly rich tradition and many of the landmarks that have been in place for decades now the community includes multiple landmarks that are recognizable throughout the state of Ohio. The King Arts Complex holds cultural functions and maintains a museum on the history of the area. Housing stock, existing units that are constantly being remodeled and redeveloped in ways that are exciting for our community, and we have new construction. Which speaks to the fact that this community is in transition, and I think that in times of transition, the church must always strive to remain relevant and always strive to remain connected, uh, even to the changing demographics of this Mount Vernon area. In the 30s and 40s, kind of forced our community with regards of uh, means of shopping and talent and, um, of course, the introduction of jazz to the particular community. The Lincoln Theater, again, where our Sammy Davis Juniors and our, our Nancy Wilson's. More businesses are moving in, uh, new homes are popping up, so we have new families come in. Um, so it's, it's really thriving, it's, it's really uh, coming along. But in general, what I see is a prospering, thriving, vibrant, healthy, safe, prosperous community. This area was known as Bronzeville, which was basically a melting pot of different communities that basically had settled in this particular area. Um, as a self-sufficient community, uh, we had the very first uh, black-owned bank, um, bowling alley, we had uh, grocery stores for us to um, thrive as, as a community. There is a rich history in the Mount Vernon area. In the 1940s, the Yacht Club stands where the nightlife was for the community. The Cameo Theater was just across the street. Expensive suits, dresses, hats, cars. This was the Harlem Knights of Columbus. Local businesses are beginning to thrive because the people within the community. The new developments are in place to strengthen the business community by making Mount Vernon Avenue a focal point of the area.
Well, I've been here for 42 years, so it means a lot to me. I started this business, and it's a very, very unique business. We also offer the most reasonable framing in the whole city. Is that we try to provide the best store, the best pharmacy, the best business, a store, a location, where they come in and they talk and we care. My company professionally, we're charged with looking at development opportunities within the inner city of Columbus and looking at those opportunities through real estate and accumulating enough real estate to make a critical mass to change, to either provide new retail, residential, or commercial office. They wanted to change the name of the street years ago. Mount Vernon Avenue has its own pride, its own history. We should continue that history into the next generations of positive, hardworking, and a loving community. On the Near East Side, there are some 66 houses of worship, many of them with a long-standing presence here in the community. The church played an important role in the development of this community. And as early as 1823, Black members of the Methodist Church formed what became the oldest church in Columbus, St. Paul's African Methodist Episcopal Church on East Long Street. It's important that we have a positive effect on community. It is important to the church in the sense that we are not here uh, just to be an island unto ourselves, but uh, we believe that as the church, we are here to add value to our community. Uh, the black church has always consistently been that anchor in the community, uh, regardless of what was going on, whatever the uh, social uh, unrest or upheaval was, political scene of the day. The black church was always that place. The Bible is clear. It is not uh, good for us to live by ourselves, but to live in fellowship, in harmony, in in unity, in relationship with our fellow brothers and sisters. The churches were so important in this area when people couldn't get loans to buy the houses, they provided the money. So as far as worship is concerned, doesn't matter what denomination you are, you'll be covered right here in the King Lincoln District and Mount Vernon area, on Long Street as well. Our grandfathers had the opportunity to be here in Columbus, Ohio, just right in this particular corridor. And um, without the strength and the help of our churches, um, during those times, I don't know if we would have lived or thrived to where we are now. Different areas and seasons concerning civil rights movement and, and, and those important times in the life of the black community. The church has always been there to guide, to add leadership, and even to give hope and assurance uh, during times when it seemed like uh, things were going in the wrong direction. The black church was always that stabilizing force. We've all been called to a greater thing and, and God has designed us to do something that's quite different than anybody else. I do believe uh, that uh, this community is uh, what it is in part because of the historical contribution of the churches in this Mount Vernon community. The ongoing increase of vibrancy and thriving energy within our community. I imagine a Mount Vernon Avenue in Long Street with new development as well as redevelopment. Coming back uh, to the way it was uh, 20 years ago. And then we have assets that have been in our community for many years. They're gonna be changing or evolving. A wonderful example is the Martin Luther King Library on Long Street. It has been there for several decades now. And later this year, in 2017, Construction will begin on a new Martin Luther King Library branch. And in the future, I would say this is probably going to be the prime location to live. I would like to see us uh, committed to, to pledge our prosperity. I believe uh, that the church will never go out of business, that the church will never uh, lose its value in the community. There's no place that is so caring and so full of love as Mount Vernon Avenue. Again, us as African Americans and, and as a, 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 a black woman who's in business, I'd like to see others that's gonna take the, the opportunity to do the same. Pulling from the cultural 
uh, aspects, the traditional aspects, the historic aspects of the community, and really making a gem in the uh, fabric of the whole entire city of Columbus. For all of those reasons, you know, anyone considering um, relocating within the Central Ohio area or possibly coming here new should absolutely give consideration to the Near East Side for the opportunity to live, work, and worship.